you know, creating like um, I hate Gap Facebook pages, you know? They had to change, you know, their whole marketing strategy because people didn't like their logo. Okay. Another um, great example of that is with what just happened with Verizon, with the feed. Everyone, oh yeah, and like, Bank of America. Well, Bank of America, I thought, went through with it. Yeah, Bank of America. Yeah, they didn't care because they're, the I guess, so big. Thing. Yeah, but through? no, they went through with fees still. Oh, Bank I thought, of America I thought did. they stopped. I don't know. I mean, okay. I'm not. I don't know. <coughs> they took back the $5 fee. Yeah. They're not going to yeah. do it. I don't know. Yeah. But Verizon okay. was a really big one because it all happened in 24 hours. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys hours. followed it, but literally, like, Verizon, only a couple weeks ago, I, I thought I saw it over Christmas vacation or whatever, mm -hmm. but they basically said they were going to charge $2 for you to pay your bill online. Yes. And literally, right away, yes. every month. Wow. Charge two dollars to pay your bill online, as opposed right. to sending a check. Well, you can pay your bill online for free, right now. You just pay your bill online for free, right, right. and and it's free. But and I'm you saying, send a check. You could still send a check. But I'm saying, so they basically they penalized people who were doing it online. No, so what they, they were just trying to get more money. Oh. They were just so there was no other. Ninety ninety five percent of their customers <laughs> pay their bill online. Right. Five percent still pay by check. Okay. Me unfortunately, they, they were charging they, they were charging you the two dollars if you paid one time on online. If you did it automatically, there was no charge. Got it. Okay, so they did have like a stipulation. Like, I don't. If you I make it a recurring time payment, because I want to see my bill before I pay. Sure. Right. Sure. And I think a good amount of people do that. Many of sure. Yeah. Some yeah. people who are careless, but I think more people over the age of 30 who know how to manage money, mm -hmm. you know, do that because mm -hmm. they want to make sure Verizon's not putting in anything, you know, because every month I have a mistake on my bill. But the point of the matter is, Literally, right away, blogs were up, like saying, I can't believe Verizon did this, like Verizon already overcharges, blah, 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 can't believe they're doing it. Literally, within 24 hours, the CEO puts out a public statement saying, due to consumer, like, outrage of this fee, we are, we are not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Within 24 hours. And this is a huge company, but probably they right. realize that like T-Mobile's getting market share. Uh -huh. You know, there are other before you know five years ago, ten years ago, it was Verizon. It was like Verizon, 98% market share, right. like maybe T-Mobile, two percent. Right. But T-Mobile's taking over, and like whatever AT &T that, yeah, and AT and T and Sprint, yeah. like they're all getting more and more aggressive. So I think Verizon's like we're already losing customers. We can't let this happen within 24 hours. That's just like as I was saying. That's just so it's cool. so it is so amazing because consumers now have the power. Totally. Like you could have put up you could have been the first one to put up that blog mm -hmm. post. Do you know what I mean? But twenty years ago there was no social media to do that. Right. Right. So when consumers were mad, you know, they talked to They wrote themselves. an article to on a paper and then it yeah. came out like four weeks later and then whatever. I mean, right, it was just a completely different way of the interacting. There's another example of this and it has nothing to do with money, it's Coca Cola. They put out a white can for Christmas, sure. and everybody screamed and yelled. They had to go back right away to the red can. Right. Nobody wanted like that, the white can, because they couldn't mean. find it because it was not red. Mm -hmm. And it had nothing <laughs> to do with money for, uh, for you to cost more, just the color of the can. Exactly. Right, like the gap. Yeah. Same with um, Tropicana. I mean, we could do this all day, but it's amazing. Tropicana, Tropicana yeah, they you know, they change their like orange juice thing. Yeah. yeah, and they had to change it back. Nobody right, nothing to do with money. And this is, how it, this is why it's fascinating. Because right, when it has to do with money, you can kind of understand that people are mad. But when it has to do with, and this has to, go, this goes along with brand loyalty. When it has to do with something kind of frivolous that doesn't really have anything to do with the product, they're not changing the taste of it, they're not changing the whatever. You know, people are so loyal to a specific brand, right? To so the way something looks, um, that they they're in an uproar if something changes. I don't know who here like blogs or is really active on social media. Nobody? Not me. No. <laughs> no interest. <laughs> me neither. But somebody here. Let the rest of the world change the Coca-Cola can for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't tweet a lot. Okay. Do you use it for personal things? Yeah, yeah, just like sports updates. <laughs> it's, kind of. it's, like, uh, it's like football, basketball. It's just talk about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. But you don't blog. Has anyone here ever written? She's learning. No, she's got to catch her train. Jesus. Has anyone here ever written a blog post? Last question. No. 
Remix. Ever written a blog post or like, or no, I'm sorry, not blog post, a review on um, somebody's website, like a, a like an Amazon.com review for a product? Anyone ever done that? Really? Nobody? But you've I've read them before, right? I did. I did one. You have. Yes. John George Spice Restaurant. Okay. Well, oh, that's the Laura's favorite restaurant. Spice oh, Spice Market? Market? Yeah. Spice Market? Yeah. Oh, we were yeah. just talking about food. Yeah. I wrote a, a bad, a bad comment. Oh. You did. Why? Because what I project? went there for uh, <laughs> Restaurant Week. Okay. And the idea to me to go to there for Restaurant Week is that something really good, so that you will like it and you'll go back again. Yeah. And the food was so bad that I complained because you know why am I going to come back? The service was bad, and, and you know, and they put you in the corner because you know you're only Restaurant Week. You're paying little money. Sure. Does <laughs> everyone know what Restaurant Week and is? And John George wrote me back and gave me a free meal. Wait, well, really? that is great. And that meal wasn't any better. <laughs> I've never <laughs> gone back. I've never gone back to Spice Market. Never gone back to Spice Market in the meat market area. Yes. Oh yes. my God. No, but, yeah. Yeah. Never it's not one of my back. favorites. Never had a bad meal there. I'll go to John George any time. time, but I, I won't. I think we need to go together. together. Yeah. I think I need to direct you on the menu because something something's a lie. Okay. I'm going to Perry Street this week. Going That's his other one in West Bill, Perry yeah, yeah. Street. That's old John George. I, like, I can't believe he actually like Jojo. wrote you back. I like every, right I like away. all of John George except Spice Park. I mean, but that was nice. He personally wrote you back. Yes. Well, well, I mean, it wasn't was him personally. Name. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's an example of like keeping up your brand credibility, right? Like, great example of if you want to keep your customers happy, right? Because now, even though you're all te you're telling us how bad it was, at least we know that they care about their customers. That's good. Right. Well, she's done right to him now and tell him, never let me back into that <laughs> store. Please don't let this me man. in unless I learn to tell him with it. <laughs> um, do you guys want to be done? Yep. Okay. My train stops running at 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> the six train, the four train, the five train stops at six, ten o'clock this week. Really? really? What? Ten well, to, they're doing the repair at ten to five. So what can oh. you take instead? This is I have to go over there and get the R train. I have to go to the I square and get the R train. Oh. Wait, but the four, five, six literally is not running. We're not running. There's no shuttle buses instead of it. Nope. Nope. From Grand Central to Atlantic. The bad brand. Bad brand. They're lucky they <laughs> don't need, they don't rely on. Hey, do we really have to do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we get there before 10 o'clock. That's, that's, that's oh, right. There must be a so difference.